we killing each other because we killing ourselves. We're not when a man when another man. I know I've been in a position. It don't. It's, not, it's out of our control. It's not like he wants to kill. He just doesn't want to die. You know what I'm saying? It's that it's that situation when you got we we are living in a war zone. It's not as easy as these people are making us think that they just got some criminal ass black kids with guns. It is not like that. We live in hell. We live in the gutter. We got us stacked up 80 deep in one building. You know, by the time you get out your house, you strapped to protect yourself because you're living in the same community that the police is carrying rifles and riot gear. Same they need them riot. Ri excuse my language. I'm so sorry. The same reasons they need the riot hat, the riot jacket, the flak jacket, the double vest, the nine millimeter Glocks with extra bullets, the tear gas, the mace, all that. Who do you think the police is using that against? Dogs? So we fighting the same villains that they fight in the street. But instead of them seeing us fighting villains in the street, we all villains. Is your generation the one that is picking up for where the Panthers left off saying, all right, enough is enough. The generation before us forgot about the fight. We're picking it back up. Not only forgot about the fight, forgot about us. Yes. And we're picking it back up. But at this level, all we're trying to do is unite. And right now, as a year, we got a million people that's listening. Now we can tell them something. Now we can try to get them that way. And we might lose some. We might gain some. But we would never even have that audience had we not said what was real. You know what I'm saying? And the main thing for us to remember is that the same crime element that white people are scared of, black people are scared of. The same crime element that white people fear, we fear. So we defend ourselves from the same crime element that they scared of. You know what I'm saying? While they waiting for, to, for legislation to pass and everything, we next door to the killer. We next door to them, you know, because we up in projects where it's 80 in the building. All them killers that they letting out, they right there in that building. But it's better just because we black, we get along with the killers or something. We get along with the rapists because we black and we from the same hood. What is that? We need protection, too. Finally, I want to ask you about something that someone else asked you in the interview and I thought the answer was interesting because I think it speaks to you and your generation a lot. Someone said, where do you see Tupac 10 years from now? He said, hey, I just want to be alive. That's real for you. That's so real. I can't, I made a metamorphosis. I'm a new person today because I used to strongly and honestly, honestly, I feel like I could represent my generation so much because I honestly did not care whether I lived or died. But now I cannot die with people thinking I'm a rapist or a criminal. I can't leave until this shit is straight. You know, I'm not suicidal. I'm not, I can't go until y'all really know what time it is. And then after that, boom, it's all over. And we can see, you know, how this shit fall. But that's how it is. And the reason being is because if I can't live free, if I can't live with the same respect as the next man, I don't want to be here. Because God has cursed me to see what life should be like. If God wanted me to be this person and be happy here, he wouldn't let me feel so oppressed. He wouldn't let me feel so trampled on. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't let me think the things I think. So I feel like I'm doing God's work. You know what I'm saying? Just because I don't have nothing to pass around for people to put money in the bucket don't mean I ain't doing God's work. I feel like I'm doing God's work. You know what I'm saying? Because these ghetto kids ain't God's children. And I don't see no missionaries coming through there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm doing God's work. While Rev Reverend Jackson do his shit up in the middle class and he go to the White House and have dinner and pray over the president, I'm up in the hood, you know what I'm saying, doing my work with my folks. And just because I don't live there don't mean I don't go there. I got to go there because I can't hang nowhere else.